Hello everyone, this is The Empress Speaks and today is Monday, July 17th, 2023. Um, I'd like to kind of talk a little bit about Carly Russell. Um, prayerfully, she has uh, returned home. This situation, if any of you are familiar with it, uh, she's an Alabama woman and Alabama is my hometown. I'm from Montgomery, uh, but she was apparently... Uh, uh, allegedly abducted or something happened to her while she was traveling on an interstate and um, it appears that she saw a small child uh, or toddler in the in the on the side of the highway and got out to render aid or to check on this uh, small child and was taken apparently but anyway, I've got some questions about it. Um, she has returned home. She came home apparently on foot. Uh, but where was she and other information and details surrounding this situation is unfolding. But th there are other questions that need to be answered. So anyway, um, what we're going to do um, for educational purposes is we're going to take a look at um, this video. Um, from WVTM 13 News in Alabama and uh, kind of weigh in on what possibly could be going on. You know, we are very happy uh, or feel, you know, overjoyed that she has come back home, but there's something about this story that just is not sitting right, okay? Days after she went missing following an alarming 911 call, Carly Russell is safe and back at home. Yes, her loved ones of the Hoover woman breathing a sigh of relief after they faced emotional searches looking throughout our state and beyond. And this morning we're learning more about what led up to that disappearance. WVTM 13's Patsy Douglas is joining us live from Hoover this morning. Patsy, walk us through the latest timeline from police. Well, that updated information of what we know right now is that Russell returned home on foot to her family's home in Hoover. She was then taken to UAB to get checked out, and now she's back home. But the days uh, led up to her return has been a journey. Now, Hoover police say Carly Russell left work at the Summit Shopping Center about 8.30 on Thursday night and went to a nearby restaurant in Colonnade to pick up dinner. Investigators reported that she then got on 459 and started driving home. About 9.30, police say Russell called 911 saying she saw a toddler in a diaper on the side of 459. She then called a relative to tell them about the situation, but the call got lost. Families' concerns grew. During that moment, police rushed to the scene and found her car and belongings on the side of the interstate. Okay. Um, just a couple of questions here. I know a lot of people are covering it, but they said the call got lost. Uh, that's an interesting choice of words. Um, what does that mean? The call disconnected or the call, uh, was dropped or there was bad reception. I, I, I don't know how a call can get lost because we're not routing phone calls like we used to do, you know, <laughs> before, um, our PBX system and phone system became as wireless and advanced as it has been or it is today. So something is very off about this situation. Um, she walks back home from where? Where 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 did where was she and how could it have been in walking distance if she was taken uh, for two days? And I'm not saying that she wasn't taken, but it's very rare that someone abducts you from a busy highway um, and then somehow or another you manage to walk back home and I don't know it, it, it's, it's a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of missing details regarding the situation um, and where is this child and was there any type of amber alert for a missing child um, and um, why didn't anyone else notice this missing child? Because from the um, highway department or, or DOT footage, there's a lot of traffic on this highway. And, um, you know, it, it would explain why the FBI isn't, wasn't involved or brought in um, 
into this. Is this a missing person? Is this an abduction? Is this a sex trafficking and or human trafficking type of case? What is this um, going on? You know, so I'm going to pull a few cards to see what comes up and, um, you know, see if I can get more insight on this. But it, it, it appears to be that there's something not being said um, or something being hidden regarding the situation. And the very first card that came out um, indicates a sense of over, being overwhelmed, um, some anxiety and some infidelity, um, where she may, some, some type of infidelity, I don't know what that could be. Her boyfriend has come out and he's spoken. Um, perhaps she was in an entanglement. I don't know. This is just, you know, uh, very, this, you know, is this reading, you know, is, is somewhat general. Okay. Lovers in the reverse. So something happened, um, I think that has something to do with her and a boyfriend or someone she was involved with romantically and sexually, um, that she was misaligned or detached from. Thank you, Spirit. Give me another card on this energy, please. And we have the Six of Wands in reverse. So there's some type of emotional baggage or unfinished business. You wanted to do something but decide to not go uh, through with whatever her plans were. So the plans were foiled somehow or another. Maybe they did not expect for this story to become as sensationalized as it was, but the plans were foiled. Um, and she decided to stop what they were doing. Perhaps this was a failed attempt on something dealing with money, an exchange of money um, for a missing person. I don't know, but there's some money involved um, in this situation or initially that was the motive behind it. And those... Um, Whatever plan they had failed, didn't come to fruition, so she came back. Who brought her back? We don't know. Um, there has to be some video footage of how she got back because maybe she walked up into a certain point, but I don't know if she could have walked from wherever she was held captive. Um, it, it's possible, but I, I highly doubt it. So who brought her up into a certain point so she could go home, and why didn't she not go to the first home to get help or police? Or if you've been held captive, why would you allow someone take them to your home so that your address of your family members would be exposed? Um, a lot of different questions re re regarding this. Uh, don't get me wrong, I want to support this young lady, especially if something like this truly happened to her. But there are some, some loopholes, there's some missing details that are very important for us to know. And these type of allegations, we don't take lightly in the community or in any... Um, you know, any community, uh, not just the African-American community, very sensitive to that as an Amer African-American woman myself. Um, but there's something that's not sitting right and didn't sit right in, in the at, at the time I heard this story. So we'll wait to see uh, what happens. The mother is imploring everyone to be considerate of a situation that they haven't slept in days and that um, they'll come out with some general information and update so i think um i'm like most of you you want some specific details if any because i want to know what to look out for um you know i am very reluctant to pull side the road to help anyone uh under the cloak of darkness um and especially if it's on a um secluded highway a busier highway and i have passengers with me i don't know um i might be more willing to render aid but in this situation um it just it appears that there's some details missing um you know i don't know we'll, we'll see how this unfolds but this is what i the reading that i got the energy that i pull from the situation and um as always thank you for stopping by my returning subscribers ashe thank you thank you so much for your support i appreciate you uh, for those of you who are just visiting me, if you like the vibe, please hit that like button, share, um, and subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss out. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye.